Thank you, Gene. Thank you, Ohio State. And uh, thank all the great fans, man. You guys are the best. Thank you. You know, got here in my mid-30s. I know I still look the same. I just saw those pictures up there. And, um, you know, coming in here, it was, it was a, a heck of a task ahead of us. And, and, I, and I had some great people around me. Um, and first, I'd like to thank Chris and Lori Holtman for the invitation for us to come back. <laughs> David Engelhoff, who is, is probably, he was with me every step of the way from the first day to the last day. Probably the most loyal human being that I know, and I know he was behind a lot of this. Um, you know, just some, some special people getting here, and, and I tried not to show up, but I was scared to death. And there were three people, a man named Jack Schramm, a man named Jim Trussell, and a man named Jim Foster, who did an incredible job of, of helping me navigate through that. I think also, you know, I, I developed some great friends, and, and I gotta say thank you to a guy, Joey Schottstein and his two crew, for loving me for who I was, not for wins and losses, and, and always putting a smile on my face when I needed it. Because you don't get friends like that in coaching very often. Also, I wanna thank the doctors who, who took care of me. And starting with Vince O'Brien, our trainer, I've always said this, Vince, Vince could write a book because late on in my career, I was spending more time in the training room than, well, I won't name the player, but you all know who I'm talking about. <laughs> also, you know, from, from Grant Jones to Jim Borchers to Don LeMay to Dr. Andy Thomas to, to Nino Kioka to Steve Smith, uh, Udi Mandel, all these guys, Bodo Knudsen, were one call away whenever I needed them. Chris Kading, who was my neighbor, I can't explain how many nights uh, I pulled in his driveway and he helped me get out of the car. Um, finally, I want to thank the coaches that I worked with. I didn't have great coaches or good coaches, I had great coaches. And those guys did a phenomenal job of, of carrying the load for me. And to the players that I coached here, Honestly, there's not words that, that I can put in to them. You know, Barbara and I gave every player that played for us a cross after their time because we wanted to know that we were with them and God was with them as they went into the real world. It's my only hope that every time one of my former players comes in here and they look up there, they smile. <laughs> and finally, the last thing to these three men, couldn't have done without them. I will say, I'm not sure I deserve that being up there. But since it's up there, what the hell, let's keep it. Thank you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Fatamata!